Hello everyone, if you have a data set where you want to highlight dates that are approaching such as deadlines or appointments, then you know how important it is to learn Excel condition formatting. But you can easily done this by in a click. So this is Jihadri Anjim from Excel Demi and today we will learn several methods on how to use Excel conditional formatting based on date. In our first case, we want to use the built-in date rules to learn conditional formatting based on date. Here we have serial name joining date in column B, C and D. We want to mark the joining date under conditional formatting. To do that, at first we'll select the whole column of joining date, go to the home tab and select the condition formatting option. Here we have to go in the highlight sales rules. Now we have to select a date occurring option. Here we have a dialog box named a date occurring. You can easily choose the date format you want to get. As I am trying to get this month, so I'll select this month and then you can also choose the color formatting here. I have selected here the light red with dark red text. Now if you press the OK option then you will see that your conditional date have been marked here. So this is our first method to learn conditional formatting on date. In our new case, we want to use conditional formatting based on current date. We will use the first data set again. To learn this method, at first we have to select the whole data range and then we have to go to the home tab and in the conditional formatting, we have to select the new rule option. Here new formatting rule dialog box will open and now you have to select use a formula to determine which cells to format. Here in the format value you have to enter your current value. The condition here is the D5 cell which is absolute in this case D5 cell absolute that means it won't change and then less than now that means the formula will check if the value is less than current value or not. So after that you have to go into the format zone. Then you can select the fill option to select the color of your choice. As I am trying to get the yellow color so I'll select it and then I have to press OK. Now you will see the current date is 20th March so anything less than that has been marked here. You can alternately do the same job by using the today function also. If you go to the home tab and then conditional formatting and in the new rule and in the formula section if you write down the formula just one change which is there before we have used the now function now we have used the today option. Now in the format zone select the color and press ok then you will get the same result as before. In our new case, we want to use weekday function to learn condition formatting. Here we have the data of month March and year 23. At first we have the date and day in the B8 cell and we have the name of the employees in column B. Again we have the data range from column C to column L. Now at first to use the weekday function, we have to select the date range. Then we have to go to the home tab and select the condition formatting option. Here you'll select the new rule option. In the new rule option, you have to select use a formula to determine which cells to format in the new formatting rule. Now in the formula zone, you have to insert the formula. We have inserted the weekday formula, which is weekday C8 to 2 and greater than 5. This formula means the first thing is C8 which is the absolute value. That means the formula won't get changed and we have done it by pressing the F4 of the keyboard. Then the whole formula means that it will return true value when the 
formula finds Saturday or Sunday in the format accordingly. Now in the format section you have to set the color as your wish and then you have to click OK. And now if you press OK then you will get your marked weekdays. So that's how you can easily do this. In our new case, we want to learn conditional formatting within a date range. To do that, at first we have start date and end date in our B4 and B5 cell. Then we'll use the data set of the very first method. Our target is to get the conditional formatting within a date range. To do that, at first we have to select the data range and then we have to go to the condition formatting from the home tab. Now we have to select the new rule option and here in the dialog box you have to select use a formula to determine which cells to format option. Here you have to enter your formula which is AND D8 greater than equal C4 D8 less than equal D C5. Let's explain the formula first. Here the dollar sign means the absolute symbol. It makes the cell reference absolute so that it got changed. In this case, we can easily do this by using the F4 of the keyboard. Now the whole formula mainly checks whether the dates in the D cell is greater than the C4 cells date or not. Here in the C4 we have set the date of 1 March. So the formula will check every date and it will compare it with the C4. After that, it will check it is less than C6 or not. So here you will get your conditional formula and if it's satisfied that it formats the cell. In the format zone, you have to select the color as you wish, then press OK. Now if you press OK here, then you will see that your dates have been marked within the data range. In our new case, we want to use the match function in condition formatting. To do that, we have again month in B4 cell, year in B5 cell, and day and date in B7 cell. We have list of holidays of March 23 here, which is Dojatra at 7 and Shoibarat at 8. We want to use condition formatting in this case. To do that, at first, we'll select the whole range, then go to the home tab and select condition formatting. Here you have to select new rule and in the new formatting rule you have to select the formula option and now you have to enter the formula. Let's focus on the formula first. Here we have match function which is a relative position function. Now the function has the first value of C7 which is the value we are searching for. Then the second argument C14 to C15 is a range of cells we are searching here as we are dealing with C14 and C15 where the list of holidays are already merged in. So if the value has found any kind of match then it will fulfill the condition or otherwise it won't fulfill the condition. By that we have written the zero because of that argument of exact match is found here. So we have to select the format option and here we have to select the data range and then we have to press OK. Now where the search have been found then it has shown the color. So that's how we can usually use the match function to learn our method. Now we want to learn use of conditional formatting for date older than one year. So we'll use the same data set of the first method and then we will select the whole D column of joining date. Then we will go to the home tab and select the condition option. Here you have to go to in the highlight sales zone and here you have to select less than. Now in the less than dialog box you have to write down your condition which is today minus 365 that means one year. Then you have to select the color in the color box and press OK. Then you will see the dates older than one year have been already marked here. In our new case, we want to use condition formatting for date less than six months. 
here we'll use the same data set of the first method and then we have to select the D column of joining date. We'll go to the home tab and select the condition formatting here. In the new rule section, we have to go to the formula section and enter our new formula. This new formula contains dated if function and today function. The whole formula will return the number of full months between two dates. The expression mainly checks if the value is less than six months or not. If the difference is between the six months or less than, then it will show the true return. Otherwise, it will show the false option. So if we go to the format zone, then we have to select the color of our wish. Then we have to press OK. And again, we have to press OK. Then you will see the dates which have been six months less than they are already been marked as our wish. In our new case, we want to use condition formatting with past due date. Here, we will take the same data set, but now I have to focus on something which is that D5 cell will be our main current cell of this case, which will be take as past due date. Then we'll go to the whole data range of the D column. Then we'll go to the home tab and select the condition formatting here. Here we have to select the new rule and in the format section we have to select the format values. Now we have to enter our current formula which is today function. In this function you have to provide that it will return the current date. The expression today to D5 this portion mainly calculates the difference between the current date and the date of the D5 cell. If the value is greater than the 15 then it will show the true option otherwise it will show false option now in the format zone you have to select the color and then you have to press ok you have to again press ok to get your perfect result so the past due rates have been marked as you wish in our new case we want to use condition formatting based on another column at first we have to select the data range of column B and column C then go to the home tab and select the condition formatting here we have to press new rule and in the new rule section you have to go to the formula and as formula you have to enter your current formula which is C5 is greater than D5 here the formula checks C5 is greater than D5 or not if it is true then the formula will return to if it doesn't then it will show the false option now in the format zone you have to select the format cells option and now you have to select the color as your wish then you have to press ok and select the ok option then you will see that your dates have been marked as your wish so that's it for today you can use any of these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com. Thanks for watching us. If you like this video, please consider subscribing us for more content like this.